Covid uh, 4, water loose, block on that, Delta Metro 3002. All set? All set. Now you got Cheapo on your wing there. And now just behind the wing line, he's just slightly below the oh, the cloud yeah, there. Right? And I'll just let it fall through the horizon. And then as we start coming through the horizon. Toronto Low Jazz 7714 on the London SID 2400. Continuing up and down right. 14 Toronto Center identified. You can climb to a 9000 now, direct Waterloo. It is information Mike, altimeter 2999. 9000 now, direct Waterloo to 999 for Jazz 7714. He has to slow down quite a bit there, doesn't he? Yeah. Working the rudder. That's going to be an awesome video. Do you want one? I wanted one ever since I've seen one of these. <laughs> this is a beautiful it flies so nice. I got two fingers on the controls. Yep. Like Cheapo was saying, you fix one error at a time. The, the on plane one is uh, the easiest one to fix first, and then the, the lateral spacing. Just take that picture and step it up a little bit. Okay. Well, a little bit low, and you do want to be stacked a little bit low. So you can just do that. So maybe the bottom, you know, the, what the bottom it? of the spinner. Yeah. Okay. I guess you a nice reference. Yeah. That's where you don't feel too low. I'd probably just squeeze it out a little bit. We're now closer laterally. So you just want to squeeze it out a little bit. Thank you, Jim. That's awesome. And I just did that with the rudder. Yeah, and then you just squeeze it forward to get that wingtip uh, spinner reference. Really good. Back to run on that one, dirty. And then a little bit of the right rudder. Oh, boy. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. Sweet. So you can just play with the rudders, dancing on the rudders a little bit. That's, yeah, they look really sharp. Put it in a little bit. Oh, he's easy to left now, so you can just let it drop down a little bit. Very nice. Nice match. And power it back. Very nice. You've done this before. Formation fl flying is one of the more satisfying flying. Yes, I can see that. It's different. It's, uh, you know, if you're looking for variety in what you're doing. Now yeah. right, you can start turning. Get your airspeed set. Yep. And you start putting him, put him to that 2 o'clock position now. You want him on the right side of your canopy bow almost. Nice and gentle, nice and controlled. Go a little bit more to the inside, so get him more to that 2 o'clock position. See the range is starting to decrease? Yes. So the closure is acceptable. The aspect is nice, this is controllable, and the range is starting to decrease. This is a really nice line. So now you can start just uh, easing off a little bit in the power. There you go. Step down. That was a really nice rejoin. And bring your power up to match him again and just eat it in with the rudder. That was really nice, Tom. And now it's just fine tuning by moving it in. Altitude. He's starting to get close, you lag off a little bit like you're doing, he's gonna start to get start moving away. And you just pull to the inside. Angle. Angle. Push. To catch up to him. That's awesome. You got to be careful here because you could cut into it. Okay. Yeah. You could. So you just yeah. ease off and let him go. And then as soon as you start seeing him moving away, that's called yeah. line of sight. Yes. You can start Angle. Uh, Angle. Push. Angle. 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 Now push. He's always, ah, ah, I know what they're doing. What are you doing? You're kind of trying to get around the... You have a hard time getting around me. Altitude. Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> Angle. Yeah, Angle. he did too. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> That's supposed to be cheap of that. Oh, where'd he go? I lost the whole way in. I get it right. There, see? Oh, yeah, 